So when you're going inside, you can see, you can see in the floor, the cutting, the cutting the rock as a boxes, and then you put the body and then you cover it with stone, okay? So this is a family tomb. It's not a private tomb, it's a family tomb. In that time, all the Middle East, wherever you go, you have a family tombs. I have a family, this is the tomb of my family, and I'm buried my family here in this tomb. In this tomb is totally different than the Jewish, and totally different than the Roman. Roman way, Jewish way, Nabatine way, it's all different, okay? Everyone have his way of burial people. For example, in time of Jesus, what Jesus, what's happening with Jesus, he was putting in the tomb. After you're putting in the tomb the body, you need to wait the flesh going out, and then you collect and put it in small boxes. This is called ossuary, okay? This is one way of bury people as a Jewish way. The Roman, you have the coffin. A big coffin, you put in the body, and then you cover it with a stone, and that's it. The Nabataean, it's a tomb family. If you go inside, you can see a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of grave cutting in the floor, and then you put the body, and then you cover it. It's very, very interesting. The way of the Nabataean, but this is um, the bury them people here when they are living in the town. I don't know if they are in the desert and they are moving in the desert, which way they bury the dead. I think it's just take uh, the, the dirt and they put the body, cover it with, with the dirt and with the stone and that's it and they're moving, okay?